And I think it's terrible when we can't know the results of an election the night of the election in a modern day age of computer. I think it's a terrible thing. And I happen to think it was a terrible decision for our country made by the Supreme Court. I think it was a terrible decision for our country. And I think it's a very dangerous decision because you're going to have one or two or three states, depending on how it ends up, with their tabulating ballots. And the rest of the world is waiting to find out. And I think there's great danger to it. And I think a lot of fraud and misuse can take place. I think it's a terrible decision by the Supreme Court, a terrible decision. Now, I don't know if that's going to be changed because we're going to go in the night of, as soon as that election's over, we're going in with our lawyers. But we don't want to have Pennsylvania where you have a political governor, a very partisan guy, and we don't want to have other states like Nevada where you have the head of the, the Democratic clubhouse as your governor. We don't want to be in a position where he's allowed to every day watch ballots come in. Gee, if we could only find 10,000 more ballots, because we're doing great in Nevada, we're doing great in Arizona, we're doing great all over. But if you take Nevada or Pennsylvania, and everyone knows what happens in Philadelphia, you, can, you don't have to say it, but I've read about it for years, and I don't think it's fair that we have to wait a long period of time after the election. If people wanted to get their ballots in, they should have gotten their ballots in long before that, a long time. They don't have to put their ballots in the same day. They could have put their ballots in a month ago. And we think it's a ridiculous decision. Thank you.